Hello guys. In this video, we will be seeing how to create a modern GUI using tkinter that is by adding background images and images on the button etc. So for this video, I am going to use the login page which I have created before and in case if you didn't watch that video, go back and watch that video and then come to this video. Okay, so the first thing which I am going to do is to create the background image, then the login page text and the image is going to go to the button. So I'm going to use this uh, image which is called as the W1 and I've set the size of the image to 700 cross 500. Yeah, so you can see that the uh, size is 750 cross 500 and I've downloaded this uh, image from the freepick.com and then what I'm going to do is to create the button which I'm going to, since it is a login page, I'm going to set that as login and I'm going to search for that icon that is login and it should pop up some icons yeah so I'm going to use this one, it better suits that okay, yeah, so I'm going to use that and I'm going to remove these both and I'm going to make it as a round button yeah so I'm going to download this image and I'm going to copy that to the images folder yeah. so I'm going to paste it, paste it over here and I'm going to rename that as login button yeah so the next thing which i'm going to do is to create the text for that i'm going to go to this website which is called as that textcraft.net and for that and i'm going to do that login page and i'm going to create that button create the uh, text yeah so once it is completed i'm going to download this And I'm going to copy that to the images folder. Yeah. So once you have downloaded everything, the next thing which have which we have to do is to import the module. So from build. From build. Import image and image tk yeah so once you have completed that the next thing which i'm going to do is to uh, load that image so for doing that first thing is I'm going to load that image load is equals to image dot open and which file is that that is in the images folder that is in the images folder uh, it was w1.jpg and I'm going next thing which you have to do is to render the image. So render is equals to image tk dot photo image of which is the file that is the load. Yeah. So now render is the final output. We are going to use it inside the frame one. And the next uh, I'm going to name that as And the next thing which we have to load is the text that is the login page text. For doing that, I'm going to paste it as img img2 is equals to photo image of and the file is going to be the in the images folder, it is instead of images that is going to be the login button dot uh, no uh, it is login page dot png yeah and for img3 that is for loading the button image it is going to be photo image of file is equals to and yeah photo image of file is equals to in the images folder that is going to be a uh, login button dot yeah so once we have completed loading the images 
the next thing which we are going to do is to go inside the function one where the login page is there and instead of that instead of this login page i'm going to give it, give it as the image is equals to uh, img2 and make equals to img2 and then what i'm going to do is remove this font style because we don't need that since we're giving the image over there and next which i'm going to do is first we'll run this and see the output yeah so now our login page is loaded but still we didn't load the background image so for loading the background image it is going to be i'm going to name that as background equals to i'm going to create a new label inside the frame one and its image is going to be uh, we named that as render yeah so its image is going to be render and then i'm going to place that image that is the background so background dot place at x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 so when i run this uh, since the name and it is render sorry yeah so when i run this we can see that the background image is loaded and the login page also is loaded but still the login page that is the background of the login page text is conflicting with the background page so to make that uh, all right i'm going to go to this instant eyedropper and i'm going to check what is the html color code at that particular place so i'm going to choose this place that is hashtag f5 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 and yeah so at this place i'm going to replace it as f5 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 so when i run this you can see that now the login page text is merged with the background that is the background of the text is merged with the background image and the next thing which i'm going to do is to move this username password and this two entry fields to a bit right side because when we merge the uh, background color of the text with this uh, background image it will be conflicting with the this uh, plant over there so in order to avoid that i'm going to move this uh, text to a bit right side so that is i'm going to move it uh, to 200 username yeah so what 200 and this also 200 that is i'm moving 50 pixels and the e and the te text field also i'm going to move it to 350 yeah and also yeah so when we run this yeah now it is fine and in order to make the text background to merge with the image i'm going to use this tool again and for this one i'm going to measure it from here that is ef 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 or it is f0 yeah so i'm going to use it as ef 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 username and i'm going to change this as no i'm going to change the password we saw it for the password it is ef 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 and when we run this yeah we can see that there now the password is merged with the background and the next thing which we have to do is to change for the username that is going to be f2 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 yeah so f2 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 and when i run this yeah so now the username is and the password both have merged with the background image and the next thing we have to do is to change the submit button by the image which we have loaded into the tk entry window so the next thing which i'm going to do is to the file images img3 and instead of here i'm going to remove this font and also the text and instead of that it's going to be I, I, uh, image is equals to img3 and here the border i'm going to set that as zero i'm doing that because if we didn't do it we can see that the img3 so if we didn't set the border we can see that the button seems to be a little bit popping outside that is uh, uh, it seems uh, it, like a border appears around the button 
we don't need that so for avoiding that i'm going to set the border as equals to zero yeah so now uh, the background uh, that's the border of the button is zero and it is not seen in the image and to set merge the background color of the button to merge with the image i'm going to use this as yeah so that is yeah, e4 e3 e1 i'm going to set that background is equals to hashtag e4 e3 e1 yeah, so e4 e3 e1 and also the active background also we have to change we are doing that active background because when the button is clicked we have to make sure that that uh, when the button is clicked the background remains the same so active background equals to hashtag e4 e3 e1 yeah. so when i run this we can see that it is uh, still it is bit it is not still merged with the image so instead of that let me try some other color yeah so e3 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 when i run this we'll see we'll see if that works Three, three, three. Yeah. So and here also I'm going to change e three e three e three. And when I run this, yeah. So now um, the button also is merged a bit with the, so it's still not merged properly. So final I'm going to use this as e a e e b e b e b. Yeah. So that's the final I'm going to stick with. B E B and here also I'm going to change that to E B E B and yeah when I run this okay so now it seems to merge a bit with the screen and yeah so this is the login page and this is the way to make your login page uh, look a uh, bit more modern and yeah so when I do it with some random text and when I try to log in it tells that account is not registered and python and 123 and yeah so it gives the image that the um, window that the login is successful and if i log out it will go back to the same old screen so this was our login page initially and the same thing we have modified it to look like this one yeah so when i run this yeah, so this is the new login page and this one was the old login page so you can see the difference over here yeah so this is the new one we, which we have created and that is the old login page and in this way you can make your uh, GUI using tkinter a bit more modern and that's it for the video guys and if, if you like this video do subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for more notifications and in case if you guys have any doubt related to this videos feel free to leave a comment in the comment box and i'll get back to you as soon as possible that's it for the video guys in the next video we'll be seeing how to uh, perform the event handling in tkinter that is the mouse clicks keyboard clicks etc and i'll leave this code link in the description in case if you guys want to check out the code you can check it out in the github thank you for watching